Okay, welcome. Adam here, the Endura Diabetic. So this is just another quick fire video to talk you through my second week of transitioning to barefoot running. If you're new to the channel, thanks for joining. As the name suggests, I am a type 1 diabetic and I like doing endurance sports. So in this channel, I talk all things diabetes and all things endurance training. So if that interests you, please consider subscribing. You can hit the subscribe button and the bell button at the bottom. You'll get notifications when I do new videos. Okay, so my second week barefoot running. So why am I transitioning to barefoot running? Firstly, I've read a lot about people having less injuries and I historically have been quite injury prone. Secondly, I understand that I'll build up some lower leg strength, which even if I don't enjoy the barefoot running, I figured I'd benefit from the extra lower leg strength. Okay, so last week I did a few very short, just entry level runs with either completely bare feet on a treadmill or with my vibrant five fingers on and that felt reasonably comfortable i was doing 3k or less just as a warm-up to another session and then i finished my week by doing a five kilometer run which i felt quite comfortable with if you want to see how we got on there just a quick fire video you can click the link up here and so then this week i've upped it a little bit so i've done two 3k runs with the vibrams on in my previous video i had said that i was going to have a go with wearing the toad socks which i did for those runs however i didn't quite feel comfortable with it it felt like the toes and the sock weren't quite long enough and it was pushing back into the gap in my toes and it was just a little bit uncomfortable so after that first run i had to go without wearing any of the socks and honestly it felt much more comfortable so i guess that's one takeaway from this week early on which is if you are thinking of using vibrant five fingers i wouldn't even bother getting any socks it's absolutely fine without them so i've done two five kilometer there or thereabouts five or five and a half k um, runs this week with the vibrams on not a great deal to report with regards to those runs, my legs felt absolutely fine. The duration was nice and quick. It's comfortable. I naturally am running on the balls of my feet. I'm not having any problems outside of the first run I had socks on, the second run I didn't have any socks on. It felt more comfortable without socks on. So that's how I'm continuing forwards now. I did do one session in between those two runs where I just ran with my normal Nike React Flyknits, um, which are always my go-to trainer. If you want to see what my thoughts are after the 150k in those you can click on the link about here so the third run i did barefoot this week was just a real short quick two kilometer run after i'd done my weekly long ride so that ride was 90k i got off just quickly put the five fingers on and just went out 1k out 1k back Again, nothing really to report on that. I've got really tired legs from the ride. However, nothing wrong with my running technique. And by the time I'd actually got going, I'd already finished. And so it was just nice and comfortable. So then the following day, I did my weekly long run, which normally is maybe 15 to 25 kilometers. However, I decided that because I felt good and I felt strong in all of my barefoot running through the last two weeks, that I was going to have a go uh, ramping up my barefoot running kilometers. So I was going to be doing less kilometers anyway because I knew I was going to be doing it all barefoot. However, I was going to take it nice and slow just to maybe get a bit of extra duration. So this run, I had my kids with me on their bikes and I was running on a rubberized track on the beach. So there was low impact on my body. I wasn't expecting it to really hurt. To be honest, with the rubberized track, it is nice and comfortable. And if for any reason I did drop a heel down when I wasn't paying attention, it didn't really impact me. It didn't hurt because obviously the cushioning's there in the ground. There's a lot of stopping and starting. I was messing around with the kids. So it wasn't really a consistent, solid effort. But I ended up finishing at eight kilometers for two reasons. Number one, the kids had about had it. It's about 38 degrees by the time we finished. And the humidity here is about 70 or 80 percent at the minute so it's hard work on the body and then the other reason that i canned it there was i didn't really want to up my mileage too quickly because i'm unsure about how much my body's going to hurt after i've done these slightly longer barefoot runs so it's worth noting obviously i'm going to have a certain amount of fatigue in my legs before i did this run because i've done my 90k the day before with my two kilometer blast afterwards however the run itself was actually remarkably comfortable and I didn't feel like my posture started to sink or was negatively impacted by the increased duration at all. I could definitely feel 
my calves really working hard in this one. It's the first time really that I felt like my body was actually working harder than it would normally be for that distance. So the shorter runs, the 3Ks, the 5Ks, I hadn't really got to the point where I felt like my lower legs were fatiguing. Once I got to this eight kilometer run, I actually started to feel in that last kilometer that actually I was my legs were starting to tire a little bit and not enough to impact my running technique or my form as such, but it was just definitely noticeable that my legs were starting to tire. I'd imagine if I had have done an extra couple of kilometers, I would maybe have started to see that negatively impact my form. So when I finished the run, I just did my normal stretching off nothing crazy nothing really deep in there in the tissues however i did notice that by lunchtime in the day my legs were starting to feel a bit stiff which i used to get when i was building up my duration ready for uh let's say half iron man when i'd have my long ride and then i'd do my long run by the third day I'd be, I'd be quite sore, I'd be quite stiff. That started to fade away as my endurance increased. But now, even with this decreased length, I've noticed that after that run, my legs did feel tired for the day. And again, it's all my lower leg, it's my calves, it's my Achilles that feel a bit tender. And then today, which is the day after, when I woke up this morning, it did take five minutes just for my legs to sort of loosen up. They were really quite stiff first thing in the morning. It's also worth noting that you can see on a little video that I've just put about here. Um, I no started to notice after about the six kilometers, so maybe the seven kilometer point, I was just starting to get a little bit of a hot spot in the same spot on both of my feet, which is this little crease here, which is just below the ball of my foot. I'm assuming this crease obviously folds a little bit and then that's just causing some friction or some rubbing and it was just starting to get a little bit tender and then similarly on the outside of the foot there's another crease just there and that was starting to get a little bit tender as well and it was the same for both feet so I'm assuming this is a direct result of not having the support that my feet are used to having inside something like a Nike React sole so that is something I am going to keep an eye on this week hasn't been enough to impact me in any way. I haven't given it any treatment. Today it's been absolutely fine, but I could just start to feel it yesterday whilst the run was wrapping up. And then throughout the rest of the day while I was walking around, I could just notice that it was a bit tender. Outside of that, feeling good, feeling strong, feeling ready to do this week's running. So I'm gonna increase my barefoot running this week only slightly in my midweek sessions. I'm gonna go for my usual full threshold session and my usual full tempo session that I do each week. Those normally end up being about seven to nine kilometers. So I'll do one tomorrow early on in the week and then I'll do one a little bit later in the week. And then depending on how my legs feel with regards to soreness and stiffness and those hot spots on the bottom of my feet, I will either do a slightly longer run, maybe push it to 10 or 12 kilometers on my long run, or if my legs are feeling a bit fatigued, I might just keep it back down at the eight or nine kilometer point just for one more week, just to give my body time to adjust. So there you have it. That's my second week of barefoot running. By all accounts, I think it's been a successful week. I've increased my distance a little bit, not too much. My body seems to be coping. A couple of little niggles, but nothing crazy. Vibrams are feeling good, and I'm feeling confident to start increasing my mileage a little bit. Thanks for joining. If it's useful, please do click subscribe, hit the bell button. I've been Adam, the Enduro Diabetic. Big love, keep training.